YouTube Matt aka Famous Autographs coming to you with a TTM report still very under the weather I don't know what's going on this is like three weeks since I've just been feeling really bad uh, but since we last talked YouTube I got 37 more TTMs to show you all I don't want them to pile up so I decided to get this video done and over with I also got some uh, eBay wins and some Listia wins that I want to show you as well uh, so without further ado let's Let's get started. It's going to be a long video, but here we go. All right, YouTube, I got a lot of stuff to show you today, so I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. I'm going to cover my Listia wins, my eBay wins, and then we'll go over the TTMs. Um, so with Listia, I got a bunch of autos to show you. Uh, that's all I'm usually bidding on unless I see something I can get, like something oddball or some card I can get signed. Uh, but the first one is a low-pressure bookmark that is signed by Sandra Brown, the author. So there's that. I got a bunch of cards as well. So the first is Mike Glendening. You have Alex Tanny. Tito Francona on an autograph card. Dan Viciedo. Ronnie Hillman, Ruben Randall, Stephen Hill, I got uh, two Jockus Rogers from the Atlanta Falcons from two separate auctions, same card, different numbered. Um, this one is the first playbook rookie signed, and it's numbered to 299. Uh, second is the gold playbook signed rookie, and it's numbered to only 49. Then of course I got some Yankees. I got Jimmy Key, and I got Ron Blomberg. I got some other things to show you. Got a Stellan Skarsgård um, stationery signed. I got a framed postcard of Vonda K. She is a former Miss America. There's that signed in pen right there. Not too many bid on people bid on this, but uh, I was looking at the autograph. I was going back and forth. Uh, very very old vintage picture. Uh, from Project X the movie of Matthew Broderick, uh, Broderick with one of the apes. Um, this is hand signed. Um, the, the seller claims it was hand signed in front of him so I'm going to get this authenticated but the picture is vintage 1980s um, and that was signed back then as well so I'm uh, really happy to win that and I'm check that out and see, see if uh, it's legit. Um, then finally I got some um, index cards uh, First one is Andrew Rothenberg, plays Jim from The Walking Dead. And the same seller is Luke from Luke's Autographs. Uh, so if you haven't checked him out on Facebook, please do. He's a great guy. We've talked back and forth, messaged back and forth. Uh, great guy. Uh, really great. Really happy to know him. So um, he sent me some extras as well. So the first is Carl Miles, um, played baseball in the 1940s. So he's like the 10th um, oldest living baseball player right now. Um, there is his signature. And then uh, Lou Karneska, I believe, um, Hall of Fame coach as well. So thank you very much, Luke, from Luke's Autographs. I'm going to get you back, man. So um, I know we've been talking. I know what you like. And uh, uh, just when you least expect it, you're going to get a, a care package in the mail. In um, addition to that, I did get another YouTube package. Um, if you do not know Ben Martinez, also known as B-Mart, he does a lot of IP in Nevada. Um, he got he went to several conventions, golf uh, tournaments, things like that, past couple of weeks. He got a couple of Joe Carters in, so I asked for one. Um, he sent this one for trade. Um, so I'm looking through my stuff, Ben, to see what I could send you. Uh, if you see something that you like that I show on video, please let me know and I'll get that out to you. Cool, so that is my Listia stuff. I got a lot more list of things coming that I won, so uh, look out for that. Uh, now on to my eBay purchases. I only got two. 
Um, there were some great purchases, though. They are both signed baseballs. Um, as you know, I, I've been on and off about Hall of Famers, signed baseballs, things like that. Uh, so I actually have three baseballs to show you today. The first two are for eBay. Uh, the first one is Dave Winfield. Um, there it is right there in the cube. And if you look towards the bottom, there's the COA. Um, it's not JSA or PSA, so um, I don't know, but it looks legit to me. Set that right there. Uh, the second is the one that I told you about on my last video that I was pretty excited about. Uh, this former Yankees catcher uh, does sign TTM, but he charges about $100 to do so. So I got this ball about half that price, and it is PSA certified. Uh, this is from Hall of Famer Yogi Berra. I'm very happy to add this to my collection. As you know, I do like the Yankees. There is the certification. And if I turn it, you can kind of see where the PSA DNA stamp is right there. And I'll put that right there. No, I'll put it over here. Alright, awesome. So, uh, those are my two eBay purchases. I really don't have anything pending right now for them. Uh, but those are that, or that is those. <laughs> so, let's start looking at my TTMs. Um, I got 37 to show you, as you know from my intro, uh, so I'm trying to get this as fast as possible. Uh, first is Central Massachusetts, and he signed two of one in 74 days. Uh, this is uh, former the Tigers pitcher Bruce Taylor. There it is on 78 tops, and he also signed index card. Up next, postmarked Phoenix, Arizona. I wrote to this person before, but I did not get my 89 top signed, so I sent again, and he signed uh, 2 of 2 in 11 days. First is on 83 Fleer, Floyd Bannister. Uh, then here's my 89 tops. Excuse the glare, they're in top loaders. Next, postmark Boston, Massachusetts. And he signed 3 of 3 in 66 days. Uh, got two out of the way from 87 and 89 tops. First, let me show you 88 Donners of John Tudor. My 87 tops. 89 tops. Next, postmark North Texas, Texas. And he signed uh, three of three in 45 days. Uh, signing for my 89 tops, this is Gary Pettis. So here's the 89 tops, 1990 Bowman, 1989 Donris. Next, postmarked Birmingham, Alabama. He signed three of three in 66 days. Uh, former Yankee great Gary Ward. He first signed 1984 Fleer, right there. 88 Donris. And he signed a Yankees book plate. Uh, that takes care of the kind of oddball, the oddball things. I did get some for my sets. Uh, now let's go to the older sets. So Phoenix, Arizona. This is from 1961 tops. He signed one of one in 33 days. Ray Sadecki. Next postmark Greensboro, North Carolina. Also 1961 tops. He signed two of two in 26 days. Hal Brown. Also signed an index card. Now let's go to the rest of the baseball successes, which are 1981 tops. Uh, first is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he signed two of two in 28 days. Larry Christensen. And also signed an index card with his 80 World Series Champs inscription. Next, no postmark. Uh, but he signed one of one in 23 days. Former Yankees pitcher Doug Bird. Next, postmark Capital District. And he signed one of one in 23 days. Uh, former Phillies catcher Bob Boone. Next, Columbus, Ohio, and he signed one of two in 21 days, 
John Pacella. Every time he pitched, his hat would fall off, or more than likely his hat would fall off. Pretty cool return coming up next. This is Postmart Metro DC. And he signed uh, 4 of 2 in 16 days. This is Billy Sample. Um, so here is the 81 tops. Sent an 81 um, Fleer. Signed an index card. And sent me a nice little note on his stationery. So pretty cool. Thank you very much. Next, Postmart Montgomery, Alabama. He signed one of two in nine days. This is Joe Beckwith. Next, Postmart Cleveland, Ohio. And he signed three of two in 11 days. This is Ron Pruitt. And he signed two index cards. Next, no postmark. Uh, but he signed two of two in nine days. Uh, Yankees success from Eric Soderholm, 1981 tops. Also signed a Yankees book plate. Next, postmark Kansas City, Missouri. Signing one of one in 14 days, Tom Bergmeier. Next, postmarked uh, Maryland somewhere. And he signed one of one in 14 days, Joe Ferguson. Postmarked Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And he signed one of two in seven days, Joe Patini. Up next, postmark Santa Clarita, California. He signed one of two in seven days, Lee Lacey. Put right there. Next, Santa Ana, California. And he signed one of two in seven days, John Ver O even. Up next, postmark Syracuse, New York. He signed one of one in six days, Glenn Abbott. Next, postmark Baltimore, Maryland. And he signed a two of two in 11 days, uh, former manager, Jim Frey. Also signed an index card. Next, postmark North Texas, Texas. Signed one of one in nine days, Jim Sunberg. Next, postmark Oklahoma City. And he signed one of one in seven days, Glenn Adams. Postmarked Atlanta Metro. He signed three of two in seven days. This is Adrian Devine. And also signed two uh, index cards. Next, postmarked Cleveland, Ohio. And he signed one of one in seven days, Mark Wagner. I um, have a couple more baseball to show you. Um, signing one of one in 32 days, I sent another ball, hoping to get a success. I uh, did not. Instead, I got the pre-printed letter from the Phillies organization and a pre-signed uh, 5x7 from Ryan Sandberg. Um, it is signed in blue sharpie, so that's that's pretty cool. It's still a signature, uh, but now I have two of these. One of them signed in black and the other signed in blue sharpie. Yay! Next here is the third baseball success for this video. Um, this one is signing one of one in 12 days. Um, Hall of Fame 1994. Former Phillies pitcher Steve Carlton. Right there. All right. Uh, that's it for the baseball. Let's move on to um, one football success and then.
like TV and movies and stuff. So, uh, postmarked Portland, Oregon. He signed one of two in 16 days. Dan Fouts. Alright, signing two of two in 21 days. Uh, both postmarked from San Bernardino, California. Uh, this is Laura and Dan Dotson. If you don't know who they are, they are the auctioneer and auctioneer's wife, or the lady from Storage Wars. So here's the 5x7. Here is another 5x7. This one says, Pay the Lady. And they also signed two uh, index cards. Here's Laura's, Pay the Lady. And here's Dan Dotson, High Bid Wins. Up next, uh, this is from Airmail. She signed one of two in 73 days. Got a little note in the envelope that says, um, being that she's busy, she's only signing one, uh, but very happy to have this custom 4x6 of Maggie Smith. Up next, I do not know how this got to me. No stamps. There is a code there, there's a code at the bottom, but I'm very happy this got to me. Uh, thank you whoever did it. Uh, this is Game of Thrones success from Ian Glenn. Here is the custom 5x7 that I've been sending. And he also signed a Game of Thrones book plate. Next, no postmark, but it is coming from New York, New York. Uh, Playbill success from the Explorers Club. Next, uh, this is no postmark. Uh, but it did get bent in the mail. Um, pretty happy to get this back though. She signed two of two in 74 days. Gina Rollins. So here's the 5x7. If you can tell right here, got bent. If you don't know who that is, she was the older version of um, Rachel McAdams' character in The Notebook. Up next, this is postmarked New York, New York. I didn't think this one was coming back as the play had just recently ended. Uh, but signing four of two in 74 days is Miss Jane Lynch. So here is the custom 4x6. I sent an additional telling her that she could keep it if she wants. Instead, she signed it and sent it to me. And here is a 5x7 that is signed in silver. I sent an extra saying you can keep it, but she also signed that too. And final TTM for the day. Uh, this is Postmart Santa Clarita, California. A large 8x10 success. Uh, she signed 5 of 4 in 14 days. Uh, 2013 Playboy Playmate of the Year, uh, Raquel Pomplin. So here is my 8x10 that I'm going to send to every or a lot of other Playmates of the Year. That's where she signed. And then I got some customs to show you. Um, so here is the first 4x6. And um, I sent two of the new 5x7s I'm working on. It says Raquel Pomplin, Playboy Playmate of the Year 2013. Signed in the sweet spot. And she did two of them. And I sent a sketch card. And she sketched something for me. <laughs> uh, pretty awesome and it had a little note with it P.S. I seriously cannot draw and there's her sketch card pretty awesome still I'm, I'm glad to get that back it's my favorite of the whole bunch 
What did I tell you? Some great stuff. I got some more Hall of Fame uh, baseballs to go towards my collection. Uh, wait till the next video. I got a couple more coming up, hopefully. Um, but I'm, I'm winning a lot of stuff. I got some eBay wins. I got some Listia wins. And uh, I got some great TTMs. I got a lot of cards to go towards my 1981 set. A couple more towards my 61 set. Uh, but I could not have, get, have gotten all those cards without you famous sports icons, celebrities, uh, artists, authors who signed for us via TTM. Thank you very much for all that you do for us. Thank you YouTube for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks Luke's Autographs and thanks B Mart for sending me this, those extra stuff as well. I really appreciate it. Uh, but until next time YouTube, I hope I feel better next time you see me. Uh, shine like the stars you are. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you next time.